Oh, <laughs> there you are. Do you remember when I told you that Christie's will auction the impressive collection of Heidi Hutton? You don't? Oh, but I did. Well, after watching this video, you can click this card at the top for that one. Anyway, from the 3rd to the 15th of May, Christie's was busy auctioning off one of the most spectacular collections ever to go at auction. 700 of them to be precise. But come to think of it, who owns 700 pieces of jewelry? Well, a passionate collector, that's who. As we've come to expect thanks to the high jewelry collections we've covered in the Greatest Collector series, this collection is teeming with iconic designers like Cartier, Van Cleef & Apples, Harry Winston, and Bulgari. Oh, doesn't that name just roll off the tongue? <laughs> Heidi Hutton's collection boasted the most exceptional creation of Bulgari jewels ever to appear at auction. We also saw both vintage and modern designs, as well as a fine selection of pearls, jadeite, important diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and all the most jewel-worthy, super rare, simply special, and blindingly beautiful gemstones. So how did the auction go? It broke all records, of course. Her collection fetched a combined $201 million to become the most expensive private jewelry collection ever to appear at auction. Yes, darling, it smashed the record set over a decade ago by the collection of Elizabeth Taylor. But there were surprises. Some of the prominent pieces to go under the hammer underperformed, while some not so prominent offerings sold way beyond their high estimate. Uh, I'm not sure the reason for that. But I guess that's how auction goes sometimes. So who was Heide Hutton? She was an Austrian billionaire philanthropist, known for her elegance, glamour, and fine taste. From an early age, Mrs. Hutton was exposed to objects of great beauty from her father, who was an engraver, and later during her first marriage at the age of 19, in 1966, to German businessman Helmut Hutton. It was at this time she began to refine her eye for jewelry and artworks. In her collecting journey, she was privileged to own some historical gemstones like the 35.56 carat Wittelsbach diamond, formerly part of the crown jewels of Bavaria, which is sold for $24 million in 2008. In 2018, she purchased Marie Antoinette's pendant via Sotheby's Geneva for over 36 million Swiss francs. Sadly, Hutton passed away in 2022, but not before opening her museum, which houses some of her decorative, modern, and contemporary artworks. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I know you're here for the jewelry, and you're itching to see her collection. Well, let's begin. Leading the pack is a superb and extremely rare ruby and diamond ring by Cartier. The cushion cut stone, known as the Sunrise Ruby, weighs 25.59 carats and has a saturated pigeon blood red color and fine purity. It is flanked by two shield shaped diamonds of 2.70 and 2.47 carats and is set in platinum. For me, this ring was one of the greatest surprises of the sale as it realized a little over 13 million Swiss franc, way below its estimate of 14 million to 18 million Swiss franc. Ah, the magnificent violet of India diamond necklace by Harry Winston, weighing 90.36 carats. The stone was cut into this distinctive shape in Paris and sold to Cartier in the early 20th century. In 1911, Cartier sold it set in a brooch to American financier George Blumenthal for his wife. The diamond was acquired in 1950 by Harry Winston, who made it the centerpiece of this diamond necklace which is sold to Hutton in 1971. The necklace sold for, well, over 6 million Swiss francs, way below its pre-sale estimate of 9 million to 14 million Swiss francs. This necklace was created by Van Cleef and Apples in 1924, when the world was deep in Egyptian fever, following the discovery of King Tut's tomb. In 2018, Hutton acquired the Egyptian satoire from Christie's in Geneva. He boasts a fine combination of diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and onyx. 
It sold for 2,707,000 Swiss franc, slightly above its low estimate of 2.2 million Swiss franc. A classic diamond ring is a necessity for building a collection, and Heidi Hutton had a number of them. Of course, I'll be surprised if she didn't with a collection of over 700 pieces. <laughs> anyway, one of my favorite diamond rings from her collection is this impressive piece that flaunts a beautiful emerald cut diamond of 47.58 carats. The main stone is complemented with smaller stones ranging from 1.30 to 0 0.90 carats. It is set in platinum. The ring realized 1.860,000 Swiss franc, that is, 60,000 above its low estimate. Among the star bulgari pieces coming to auction is this diamond, sapphire, and emerald necklace set with a 46.56 carat round brilliant cut diamond at its center. Originally sold to Cartier in 1975, when it was set in a ring, the diamond was later acquired by Harry Winston and subsequently fashioned into a necklace by Bulgari, from whom Hutton acquired it in 1994. In this necklace, buff top emeralds and sapphires complement the diamond to an outstanding effect. It sold for 1,436,500 Swiss franc within its pre sale range of 1.1 million to 1.650,000 Swiss franc. Darling, what's better than a diamond brooch? A colored diamond brooch, of course. This Bulgari wonder is a perfect union of an orange diamond of 5.14 carats, a fancy intense purple pink diamond of 5 carats, a blue diamond of 4.26 carats, a yellow diamond of 3.82 carats, as well as a sleeve of round diamonds. It is set in platinum and 18 carat white gold. How much did it sell for? An impressive 4,582,500 Swiss franc. That's about 82,500 above its low estimate. Another wonder to behold is this great mogul emerald and diamond necklace by Harry Winston. It features a carved emerald of 362.45 carats that depicts a scene from the ancient Indian epic poem Ramayana along with round diamonds, an 18 carat yellow gold and platinum. It sold for 882,000 Swiss franc, beating its 450,000 to 640,000 Swiss franc estimates. Next up is this impressive Bulgari jadeite and diamond necklace that boasts 25 jadeite beads measuring from 21.10 to 15.90 millimeters as well as calves jadeite round diamond and 18 carats white gold Hutton acquired it in 2009 and according to Christie's the size color and translucency of the beads make it one of the most important jade necklaces ever offered at auction it sold for 4 million eight hundred and eighty five thousand Swiss franc exceeding its high estimate of 4.5 million Swiss franc You see, Heidi Hutton had a thing for pearls, and this Harry Winston necklace is proof. Three strands of natural and cultured pearl pair nicely with a fancy light pink cushion modified brilliant cut diamond of 11.15 carats. It is set in 18 carats white gold. It was estimated to sell anywhere between 6.4 million Swiss franc and 9.3 million Swiss franc and ended up going for 6.458 million Swiss franc, a little above its low estimate. Few brands can compete with Bulgari when it comes to playing with colors, and this necklace is testament to the genius of Bulgari. It's a phenomenal marriage of sapphires, emeralds and diamonds, fit for a savvy collector like Mrs. Horton. A brilliant cut sapphire of 37.84 carats meets a part per archer sapphire of 33.59 carats and an emerald of 33.20 carats and of course diamonds. The entire party is set in 18 carat yellow gold 
It's no surprise the necklace far surpassed its high estimate of 1,350,000 Swiss francs, selling for 2,586,000 Swiss francs. Of course, you knew there's no way I can show you all 700 pieces in this video, but I bet I have satisfied your cravings with my selection. How about we grade Heidi Hutton's collection using the gems and jewelry's five part metrics, which are personality, how well does the collection mirror Heidi Hutton, timelessness, every collection needs classic pieces, does this collection have them, versatility, does the collection represent various stones and designs, flexibility, what's the ratio of everyday pieces to special pieces in this collection, genius. Do we have enough unexpected designs to wow the imagination in this collection? For personality, I give this collection 5 out of 5 because the entire collection is a beautiful representation of Mrs. Hutton's elegant style. In the area of timelessness, this collection earns 4 out of 5. Hutton had an incredible ability to select jewels that have a refreshing aura, items that look relevant for this season in spite of their age. In versatility, I grade this collection 5 out of 5, from pearls to jadeite, diamonds to citrine, emeralds to sapphires, this collection represents various stones and designs. And what about flexibility? This collection earns 4 out of 5. We see a good lineup of high jewelry that can be worn for all manner of occasions, including casual and special events. Finally, in respect to genius, this high jewelry collection earns 4 out of 5 as there was a good number of artistic pieces in the collection. In all, the high jewelry collection of Heide Hutton earns 22 out of 25. Yes, I know you're thinking of it too. The collection is indeed worthy of the record that it broke. Well, that's it. The record shattering high jewelry collection of Heide Hutton, one that has urged its place in the annals of history. Let me know your favorite in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and of course I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.